trying to take over that four spot from Kowicki. They come off the second corner, three abreast. Allen's going to have to have some help. Oh, they almost touched. Allen back and forth. Yeah, I think they did touch a little bit there going into turn one. Oh, and Lake Speed is on the roof. Flipping down the backstretch. The car rolling over several times. Dave Marcus involved in it. Now Looked like Jimmy wheels. Spencer's car is involved. Here comes Hut Strickland spinning around. Jimmy Means in the back of the pack got by. He'll pick up a bunch of positions. Lake Speed's car apparently hit the outside wall and just started tumbling down the racetrack. There you can see the very badly damaged Oldsmobile. Bullseye barbecue machine on the inside of the backstretch and the caution out on lap 144. Wow. This has been something. We are patiently awaiting for Lake. There's the safety crew coming to Lake's aid. And we hope that he comes out quickly. Car number five, Levi, the Levi Garrett Chevrolet of Jeff Bodine apparently involved there as well. A little bit of uh, sheet metal. There's Dave Marcus who was involved. Tremendous damage there at the front end of his aluminum. But Dave is sitting in the car and appears to be okay. Ernie Irvin was involved. You can see the sheet metal rubbing against the tire on the left front of that machine. Hutt Strickland, we don't know where he went to. We saw him spinning down through there. Dave, Dick Trickle has a flat tire right in front of uh, coming in on pit road. He has a flat tire. The front just dragging the racetrack. Here comes this is Irvin. Ernie Irvin in the white car that we see right now. That's him going down pit road. A lot of damage to the Kroger Pontiac. Let's take a look at it once again. Try to determine what happened. Well, it looks like Ray Lake Speed was trying to shoot up through the middle there as they were drafting for position and perhaps got tapped by Sterling Marlin in the blue car behind and shot him into the wall. The car started going over and over and you can see the cars trying to move around him. There's Dave Marcus hit him hard. Here's Jimmy Spencer. It looked like down on the inside. He got in on it. And here comes Hutt Strickland in the car number 57 sliding out through there. And from another angle. I think that Ned said it just right. I think that there was contact between the 83 car and the 94 car Sterling Marlin and Dave Marcus gave Blake a pretty good wrap going down through the grass and look at the windshields look at the debris the dirt flying from these automobiles you know it's it's hard to watch these shots and tell when these cars are running 180 90 miles an hour but when something like this happens folks it's easy to tell just how fast we're running and one more angle now Well, he's already on his roof there and rolling over as the other cars come in on him now. Darrell Walter going by on the outside. And you can see Dave Marcus in car number 71 hit him pretty hard there. Well, these cars are built very well in the roll kit. And there is Lake Speed. Well, good deal. He is walking into the ambulance. Let's go down to Jerry Punch. Well, that is absolutely a testimonial to how well NASCAR mandates these cars must be built. I was just standing on pit road talking to Robert Harrington, the crew chief for Lake Speed, and he told me Lake, after flipping and rolling and getting careened off by a couple other race cars, popped their headset radio and said, please tell Risa I'm okay. We've lost a race car, but we'll race again. So a true testimonial to the safety that NASCAR makes these cars have, and he has now walked away. Of course, Last week, Bill Venturini took a tremendous impact in the wall up in Michigan, was taken to a hospital and uh, underwent a number of days of hospital in hospital care up there. And of course, the fact that he could walk away with that kind of impact also indicates how well these cars are built. Bob? Yeah, I can update you a little bit more on Bill Venturini. I talked with him on the phone on Thursday, and he apparently is going to be released from the hospital on Monday. He'll have to wear a halo for about six months because of the broken vertebrae in his neck. And the injuries could be life-threatening, but Bill Venturini is in very good spirits. Dave Marcus sits in his car as the caution is out on Daytona International Speedway and we'll be back with more after this. Under yellow because of the most serious crash of the afternoon. It involved Lake Speed down the back stretch. Here's the replay. Okay, he's in a bunch of cars. He tries to shoot up on the inside. You can see that he and Sterling Marlin in the 94 car on the outside got together just a little bit and then again, and it turned Lake right into the wall and the car started rolling almost immediately. All the cars behind him started dicing for position, trying to get out of the way. Smoke was blinding them as they went in there and many of them got involved. And here is an excellent view of the incident by Rusty Wallace's car.
You can see all kinds of things flying back in rusty space and downshifting to uh, avoid the action. Let's go to Jerry Punch on Pit Road on Mark Martin.